What's up, Space Cadets? This is KJ48. Welcome back to my Imperial Galactic Survival Let's Play. This is Episode 3. And I must be feeling the itch to play this game quite a bit now because I'm making back-to-back -back videos and I've not done this in a while. Uh, we are going to be working on the base today and I think in the in the interest of staying focused on my goals, uh, we're going to stay working on the base today. But tomorrow, we are going to put... Next video. I don't mean tomorrow. I mean next time I record. I'm going to put rocket launchers on my, on my, uh, my small vessel and uh, take this bad boy out for a spin. All right, first things first though, we need to protect our area. Um, I'm gonna co go ahead. I waited for stuff to get built. I now have the tier two drill, <clears throat> the multi-tool. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a cannon turret up here. Um, one should be one should be enough, honestly. Um, and we need to put down the ammo for that somewhere. Uh, that looks a good spot for it. All right, and then we also made 530 mil, 30 mil for that. So we're gonna put those in there. And then we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the top, and we are going to use this just to make sure it's activated. And uh, this thing should protect us now. So we are now protected from drones, hopefully. All right, so um, here's my plans for this base. Okay, I'm gonna plan to bring the roof up two more spots at least, maybe. Maybe just two more spots, maybe if maybe four more spots, I'm not really sure. And right here in the middle is going to be a hangar for the main, which is going to be the, the place I'm going to bring down my, my vessels into. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the doors on it horizontal, one on both sides, and they, they open and close from the middle. Um, I have to deal with structural integrity with that, so I'm not really looking forward to it, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And uh, I, here's my hangar doors being made. I also started building this thing without thinking about structural integrity. Uh, but it seems to be okay. And I think there's a new color for the structural integrity. I think blue is, like, really solid. And I think green is maybe less solid than blue, I'm thinking. I, I don't really know. Um, I'm not really big on the structural integrity stuff. But uh, this thing looks pretty good, though. So I think we can continue building. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off because it's a bit much. And uh, we do have some lights here. Maybe a little bit too many, too much light, but that's okay. I'd rather have too much light than not enough. And uh, we're waiting for that door to be ready. And then we're going to have more concrete coming out as soon as that's done. Uh, we, did go, we did go ahead and make an O2 station and an O2 tank and a cloning chamber. I would like to put those down. I really don't have any place I can put them. I think what we're going to do is we're going to dig this out a little bit more. And what we're going to do is we are going to... By the way, if you're new to this game, this Tier 2 drill has got to be your number one priority, man. Like, it drills faster. It puts the stuff automatically in your bag so you don't have to pick it up. And it, it like, you could use it from farther away. Just a wonderful, wonderful piece of equipment. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little bit of an area right here. And we're not going to be digging underground. I'm not going to... I don't like the whole digging underground thing. I mean, I like the whole digging underground thing. The problem is it's it's just too much work. Um, I mentioned that at the beginning of this video. So that is that is known. Oh, man. This is this, lights are too much. Let's take this one down. we got to load this thing up and take this down. I'm not sure if I'm hitting it. Yeah, I am. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, much better. You can actually uh, deal with this with the these lights if you press P. You could like change their intensity and their range. I, I don't I don't normally mess with that though. But let's see what we can do. One. So it just goes two to one. Okay. All right. So that's pretty cool. But that would be cool if we if we had the other one on. What does range do? Yeah, range doesn't really do much. Yeah, I don't know. Seems okay. Maybe use a you could change it to a softer light. Maybe. I don't know, something you guys can play around with. That one actually looks a lot brighter. I'm going to leave it the way it is. It seems to be working okay. We're also going to repair this. There we go. And then we're going to come in here and we are going to grab some of our con concrete blocks. And we're going to build up a wall right here. So let's just uh, do this. And this. Okay, so that's a wall. And that will leave us a spot to put more items up. This is going to be a work in progress, for sure. Uh, take that out of there. There we go. And let's go ahead and put some stuff down now. So now we can put down the cloning chamber, the O2 station, and the O2 tank. Oh, god damn it! I didn't want to put it backwards. There's a rotation tool 
I can use for that. Actually, I could probably make it right now. I'd have to spec into it. F3. Go to tools. And we might as well spec into these now. We'll get the rotation tool and the texture and symbol tool. They're two tools you're definitely going to want to have. Uh, I'm going to make the rotation tool. And uh, did we run out of water or concrete? We ran, out of con we ran out of cement. Do I have any more dirt on me? I do not. Okay, we're going to have to... We're gonna have to get some more cement actually you know what this will probably be done pretty quick all right so then we're gonna put this down and we're gonna rotate it properly and then put this down so we have some O2 and guess who has oxygen people so you take the O2 bottles you put them in here the and you get some oxygen beautiful we can't make the um the next thing we want to make it should be in base is the medic station we can't make that to level 10 so um, unfortunately, there's not much we could do about our hit points at the moment. Do we have a drone in the area? Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, he's just kind of hanging out. All right, well, um, I'm going to take some time here and get some more crushed stone. So I'll be right back. Uh-oh, just got a drone attack warning. Gonna, we're going to put our turret to good use now so make sure he's going to do his job. By the way, I'm just back here getting some stuff. I should really cover up that that core because the uh, drones do go after the core. So let's go ahead and make a little area right here just to protect ourselves. And what we'll do is we'll make one right here as well. I'm going to make some uh, some different lights as also. Uh, I'm going to stop saying as well. <laughs> That's why I said also. Uh, make some of these work lights. I really like the work lights. Take some more of this. Put it over there. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Okay. So now we just need to cover this up from this side. We do have a light on us, right? Yeah, let's just put a light down. I know you guys can't see shit. There you go. Alright, so put that down. We're just trying to protect. This goes this way. I'm going to have to move that eventually. It's okay. It's fine the way it is right now. The, uh, the generator's kind of messed up. That's okay. Okay, I can go right there. Um, go right there, there, there. I don't know how I'm going to get in there, but we'll worry about that later. Just leave a little hole right there for me to get in there for now. Just kind of drop down. <laughs> and we have an area right here. We should probably make a door for that as well. Let's make an automatic door. Okay. Yeah, so these work lights are really sweet. You can't put them on your base, but you can put them in these little holes. And what you could do is you could kind of like um, rotate it sideways, like so. And there you go. Really nice lights. They're way better than these lights. These lights are kind of, I don't know, a bit strong. Like I said, you could turn down the intensity, but it doesn't... The light itself still looks bright. It's the light itself that is the problem, not so much... I don't know. You could probably use that to kind of turn down the brightness a little bit oh well we'll just have to get used to them okay all right that drone's coming in so let's see what happens here the drone is coming in it doesn't look like this thing is oh two drones please tell me you're gonna do something turret oh there he goes Doesn't look like it has a clear line of fire, but it's clear enough. Oh god, I'm getting shot. Okay. Okay, and it doesn't look like it got damaged at all. It's zero percent, which means it might have got shot at, but it doesn't look like it got damaged. We should take off Predator. Actually, I'm gonna leave on P Predator just in case any aliens come in here. You know, uh, scorpions or something trying to start some shit. They can get blasted. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, set up some more concrete blocks and get building, people. We're going to use our drone. That's F5, in case you are not aware. And we're going to come on out here, and we are just going to just start building the base. Um, I'm going to put on structural integrity, just so I don't make any mistakes. And let's do this. All right, see, that's getting a little bit towards the yellow, but, you know... Doesn't matter. You don't even have to worry about it until, it's, until it shows up red. Okay. We are almost out of blocks. 
Yeah, the blue's weird. I guess blue is just means, like, it's perfect. Like, there's no, you know, no strain on it at all. Okay. All right, looking good. Structural integrity's looking good. Everything's looking good. This will be a landing pad for the small vessels. Um, I'm not going to put a ton of work into this base. I'm going to make it look somewhat nice. But overall, we're going to be looking into bringing this base in. Um, but for now, I do kind of want to work with this base because it's pretty freaking cool. I like the way this base is coming out. All right, so we got some more. Let's just go ahead and do more, dude. More concrete. Oh, we ran out of something. What did we run out of? We ran out of the uh, crushed stone. There we go. Okay, let's start building. I'll get crushed stone off camera. Um, did I take it out? Yeah, there we go. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Let's just make the whole platform to stand on for now. And this is going to be a very organic base. We're going to kind of just work with what the terrain gives us. And uh, those are always my favorite bases. The ones where you just kind of work, do what the terrain is letting you do, you know? Um, having a perfectly planned out base is also pretty cool, but I find sometimes when you plan out a perfect base, it's almost, it looks kind of too perfect and not just, I don't know, like kind of like mechanical. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. I've talked about this in other, in other games Well, I like the, I like the feeling of doing a, I'm going to put a structural, a, I'm going to put some structure here. Just even though I, it's not saying I need to, I'm going to put, I'm going to put one here for structural integrity. Just because I want to. There we go. Um, yeah, I've talked about this in other video, in other videos. Like the organic base look, I think is better uh, in a lot of cases. Um, not to say that a planned out base isn't nice, but there's something to be said for working with what the terrain gives you. I really like that. All right, let's do some more building here. I'm trying to figure out what I want the dimensions for this thing to be. Uh, I don't really have any hard, like you, like my last hangar, I kind of like figured it all out and then whatever, but this one's going to be a little bit more free form. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, first thing we need to do is make the damn thing square. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I want to make it square. I guess right here, we can have this be one area. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be one area. So we'll just have this go right there and there. So this has got to be square. So it's got to be there 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 and it's got to be out two more so let's make some more room over here okay and then we'll have this come over here like so so this part right here will be a it's going to be a room over there and this is going to be the start of the the hangar bay um this is going to also all have to come out i'm probably going to do this off camera though this looks like it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, so that will be the wall. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's an odd number. I think the odd number thing... Eh, it's irrelevant for now. We can always make it bigger if we need to. Let's just, let's just continue building this thing out. Alright. So we go right there. Come on, damn it. So finicky. And then it's right there. I wish you could turn off the flashlight on this thing. Damn. Uh, how is that? Do you want to go any farther? Can that be the the hangar right there? You think that's good enough for the hangar? Let's go get our let's go get our ship. And bring it down. I'm not gonna make a hangar as big as I've done in the past. Because first of all, this is gonna be a very not permanent base so i'm already putting more work into it than i thought i was going to so this can come down here like so and so we're gonna put that on there and then come over here and probably do it like that okay all right i think that'll work so i think what we can do is we need to we need to bring the roof up the roof is definitely not high enough so that's going to be our next concern yeah they need to let you turn off the the flashlight on the drone, man. It's it's too much. That thing is going to be in the way. Hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. Actually, we should probably move that. We do have another one. I can just put another one up, so... Not really a problem. 
How hard do you want to make this thing? I don't know. Is that six high? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's do it six high. I like that. That works for me. So that's going to be six high. Can we put this across here? Sure we can. Let's bring up our structural integrity stuff. It's looking good. It's looking good. You know what? We might be able to put the things on right now. Let's take a look. Um, wow, that would... I could put that on right now. The thing is, with structural integrity, I don't know if it's going to stay. That's the problem. Um, I kind of don't want to put it in the middle. I kind of want to put it on the side. So that we have places to park. So what we're going to do is. What we're going to do is. Um, this is definitely going to be a wall. This is. This is. This is definitely going to be a wall. So what we're going to do is. We're going to bring this out. And we're going to start building up the wall on this side. Probably change the wall later. I don't know. But for now. We're just going to build it like a regular wall. Okay. Now, can we put this here without having it fall? I don't know, guys. I don't know. How big is it? Mm, I forget how to... Oh, yeah, right click. It is a 5 by 3 so it's going 5 this way. So, I think what we're going to do is, for structural integrity reasons... Well, that's a 5 by 3 so We've got 3 Okay, so what we can do is... That's three. Okay, so right there is three. Okay, so that's that's the end. One, two, three. Do I want that to be the other wall? You know what? I probably could make it the other wall. It's irrelevant, honestly. All right, so that can go there. That can go there. I don't know about structural integrity here, guys. What do you think? <sighs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I, I held my breath there, guys. I held my breath. Um... Now for the other side, let's put more of the let's put more of the ceiling up here. Um, should we put the second one down? Now we're kind of pushing it, but I kind of want this to get done this video. So please don't collapse. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. That, my friends, is awesome. So what we do is. Actually, is it big enough? I don't know. I didn't really think about that. It probably is. So what we can do is we can come up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, people. Right? Am I right? So you come back from whatever you're doing. And there's your base. Yep. Shooting at enemies. They're shooting at predators, by the way. I should probably turn that off. Anyway, um, come back to your base. Oh, it's a little small. It's a little small. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But for a first time using it, I'm okay, I'm okay with that. And then you just park this thing wherever you want. All right. So, yeah, I love it. I love it. Let's uh, let's continue working. That thing looks pretty cool up there in a window. I mean, it's kind of pointless, but it, it looks cool. <laughs> All right, so we should have more of these. 170. That would be very, very good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make we're gonna move this over to one more spot, and then we'll build the wall there. And that's gonna be the uh, pretty much that might be the whole base. Honestly, I might not make any more parts to it. Um, well, I'll probably make another room over here, but that's it. And then we're gonna start hitting. Uh, we're gonna start hitting. I keep calling them towers. They're not really towers. We're gonna start hitting other bases next episode. And start, what we really want to do is start getting the items that we're going to need for the automatic drill, drilling platform, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you call it, but we need to make that. That needs to be a priority. All right, I just got another announcement for a drone attack. We got to be ready for this one, though, because um, I'm not sure if that, that turret's in a really good spot for a drone attack. So while we're waiting for it, we're going to start clearing out some of this rock. And then we're gonna finish this bad boy up. I think uh, I think we got a pretty good pretty good thing going here. Um, I might add some stuff later. I probably shouldn't have put that right on the edge, but I might add some stuff later. I'm trying to think about little like flares that I can add to the 
to the build, although it's not really necessary. Like I said, this isn't a permanent build. I really shouldn't be putting this much attention into it, to be honest. But I think I put a good amount of attention into it without going overboard. I, I might want to move that, to be honest. We'll see. We'll see how I feel about it. For those of you who weren't watching me a couple seasons ago, I made, um, I had this really big base. And, um, that's the thing I really want to continue working on. It's, like, less than half done. So, that's the thing I really want to start working on again. But the next base I do build from scratch will have a thing like this. Although, these are very, you gotta be careful with these, with these hangers. Because if they're too heavy, they will collapse on you. Like happened to me last, last season. So, I don't know. Kind of like it though. I think it came out pretty good for a first time build for it. And I was supposed to work on it in creative mode to kind of figure it out, but honestly, guys, I simply don't have the time. Here we go with the drones. That one's already down. The other one's not going to be a problem. Okay. So we want to bring this from over here. Is that the wall? No, it's got to go even one farther. So that means we're going to have to dig out even more. Oh boy, quite a bit more. Well, guys, what do you think of the build? Do you like it? I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I can't put too much flair into it. But like I said, if, if I'm going to put flair, that's going to take time and effort away from the main build, which I think is a mistake. So I think I'm just going to leave it where it is and just, you know, call it a build. I think it's pretty cool. What we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to raise the roof on this spot. We're going to move the turret somewhere, raise the roof on this spot, make this a storage slash crafting area. Then we're going to come on over here and we're going to put a hole. We're going to put a door right here. And that's going to go to a... Um, uh, some kind of growing facility, you know, like, uh, plants and stuff. And then at that point, um, that's it for this base. That's done. So, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I'm happy the way it came out. I just wish I made those bigger. I might still take those down and redo them. Try to make them bigger. But if I do, it's going to be off camera. You get the idea. I don't need to, you know. Alright. Let's come on and go get some food. Get some oxygen. There we go. Looking good. The only thing we don't have is health. Alright. So that looks pretty good. I think that might be good enough. Close. It's damn close. Well guys, I'm going to call this one a little bit early because honestly I've gotten to where it's just going to be a little bit of busy work for the next, you know, 20, 30 minutes or whatever. Uh, this base isn't going to be finished next episode. Next episode, we're putting rocket launchers on our on our ship, and we're going to go attacking bases and see if we can get some rare materials for the auto mining thingy-mabob. But uh, that's going to be it for episode three. We'll see you next time for episode four. Until then, take it easy.